What's going on guys? <clears throat> so today it is March 14th. Uh, I just got done with cardio. It is 6.20 in the morning. Tons of energy already. Um, so I'm going to do a little posing, uh, a little posing for you guys. Um, so I'll show you guys what I look like six weeks. Uh, yeah, about six weeks out right now. By the way, check this out. This is what I've been reading on Cardio Machine. It's called Mindset. I'm a huge believer in like positive reinforcement books and everything like that. So this is six weeks out. Now, keep in mind, my legs are all pumped up from the elliptical, so. Whew. Whew, front, double bicep. My coach was telling me I can do a vacuum pretty well. So when I do my poses like that, he was like telling me to go like that. So I'm trying it out, seeing how I like it. Front lat spread. That chest. Side try. To the back. Oh, damn, <laughs> I need to start practicing this. Like, I practice, but I need to like start holding it as if I was like on stage. <sighs> Favorite most muscular, mine is this one. <sighs> Abdominal and quad. Now he told me to do this one, which I like, he told me to go. My wall of goals, daily goals, midterm goals, long-term goals. I have some quotes down there. Um, there's my two shows. Like, I don't know. I love doing this, and I'm so glad I put this uh, uh, this um, this chalkboard wall in in my room. I don't know. I feel like this is such a great feature. Like, I love having this this background and looking at it every single day. And, I mean, just look, like, just look on my daily goals. Like, these are my daily goals. Read 10 pages of a book a day, eight hours of sleep, positivity. Um, my mobility work is huge for me. Improve mentally, physically, and emotionally daily. That's something huge I don't think a lot of people try to uh, put into their goals because, I mean, if you're improving in, in your mentality um, and everything like that, your whole, your whole life is actually going to improve. Um, your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. I really like that quote. Um, I don't need easy. I just need possible. Uh, those are just a few of the ones that, you know, I, I like. I have a list of them on my phone as well. 
but it is good to go. What's going on guys? Today is uh, March 16th. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. I tried filming yesterday, but it was like sunny in the car. So like I looked over the footage and there was just a huge blur and you couldn't you couldn't see anything. So like I talked for like 10 minutes and you had no idea what was going on. Uh, but yeah, so last night I had a refeed night, refeed cheat meal night, I guess you could say. And uh, I ended up going to Texas Roadhouse again. That was my my refeed. It was just a steak, a sweet potato, a salad, and I can have some peanuts. And my coach wants me to do that again tonight. Uh, five, I'm five, I was five weeks out officially yesterday, and he was like, "You're you're right there. You're very close. You know, you have about maybe you're like 182. I'm like 182 in the morning, and the cutoff for a, a middle weight is 177." So I don't have much weight, like actual fat to lose either. And by the time the night of the show and I cut my water and everything, he was saying, you know, I'm gonna drop four pounds just from that. So I'm right on the, on the, on the brink of it. And that's why he told me, he's like, okay, Saturday and Sunday night, he's like, I want you to have two cheat meals. I'm like, what, crazy, huh? And so last night I went out, I had that. and. After cheat meals, I feel so like guilty, like I shouldn't be doing this. But I just kind of have to remind myself that, hey, it's gonna benefit me in the long run. And this is what I need to do in order to, in order to do my best. Like last night I got home, my stomach was stuffed. I got a 12 ounce filet, cooked medium rare, like cooked perfectly last night. Last two times I had to send my steak back, but it was cooked perfectly last night. The sweet potato tasted like butter. Um, it was so good. And so today, you know, back on my meals, and I'm going out tonight again. Instead, tonight I'm going to Not Your Average Joe's, which I'm getting like steak tips, a baked potato, and again, a salad. But I'm, I'm kind of going out with my mom tonight. So it's because it's her birthday, the day after St. Patty's Day. So I haven't been able to go out at all. So this is going to be kind of like our celebration deal. Um, I wish I could have like a drink with her or something to celebrate for her birthday. 47 years old, by the way. Happy birthday, mom. So we're gonna do that tonight, but I just couldn't help to think like how guilty I felt last night. I was just like, oh my God, but I know it's I know it's what's needed and uh, it's what I need to do. So I'm really excited about that. This morning, actually, I, I got up and I was only 184, two pounds heavier, and I pissed so much last night. Cause I ended up drinking just a lot of water because all the sodium and everything, so I just keep on drinking. And you just kind of piss everything out over, you know, over the nighttime. So I, I woke up in the middle of the night probably like four or five times. Sundays I don't have to do cardio, and it's my it's my off day, my complete off day. So it was nice. I could, I slept until like 7:30, which when I woke up, it's like late because I'm so used to like five in the morning waking up. So 7:30 feels like my day's already shot for the whole day, but. I'm on my way to work now. The reason I'm, I'm not in my work clothes, I left my, my clothes there. Um, so I can just change there and then I'm just gonna go out in this afterwards. I, I was just posing with my dad this morning. I was trying to like teach him how, you know, to hit certain poses. He has a really tough time like hitting his back shots. His, his, his like, his front, his front relax and his, his back lat spread and his front lat spread. He has a hard time like controlling his lat so it's tough for me to like explain it to him. See, I think the glare is getting in the way right now. Yeah, it's, it's tough for me to explain it to him, but we're getting there. We're doing everything we can. So I'll check on you guys later. Peace. We are here at Not Your Average Joe's for the cheat meal. So we have our appetizers. We're not really appetizer, but I have my salad with balsamic. My mom has her soup, and we're here for her 48th birthday and my cheat meal, we kind of did it together a few days before St. Patrick's Day. Her birthday is actually right the day after St. Patty's, but uh, so this is what I'm having right now, and then I have the steak the steak tips coming, and uh, we'll check her meal out too. Later, guys. There's my meal, guys. I already ate some of it. Um, my, sweet pota my baked potato, green beans. I actually ordered some sauteed onions and mushrooms on it, and then my mom just got a salad with her shrimp on there. Okay. So.